This is Meredith from vidpromom.com and if you have made it through the whole entire editing process for editing your GoPro videos in Premiere Pro, then you've probably got to the point where you would like to export your video so that you can upload it and share it. And Premiere Pro is pretty flexible. The downside of that flexibility is that there's about a thousand different options that you can choose when you're exporting and it can get overwhelming really quickly. So this is a quick tutorial on how I export my GoPro videos once I'm done editing them in Premiere Pro. Pro. All right, so I'm going to keep this as simple as possible for you. Again, um, I have, let's say I have a clip here that's edited exactly the way I want it. I have a video exactly the way I want it. And now I want to export it so that I can upload it to YouTube or Facebook or just keep it for myself. Um, so the first thing we need to do is make sure that our timeline down here is selected. So you want to have your timeline selected by having this blue um, like border around it. And then you're going to come up to file and then export and then media. So I usually just hit con command M <laughs> and that's going to open up a new window. And there are, I don't even know how many different options, um, that you can use to export your video. And that's what makes this very confusing, even for me. So I have some settings that I use every single time for every single video, and I'm gonna tell you what they are, and then you can kind of go from there. I don't even know what some of these settings even do, but I just wanna show you what I do and what I think will work for you. So um, first of all, you want to make sure that your format is going to be H.264. That means it's going to export as an MP4 file. Um, so specifically, if you're going to upload to YouTube or Facebook, that's what you're going to want it to be. If you're doing something else with your video, you might need to have it be a different format. But we're going to go with H.264. So down here under preset, um, what you're gonna wanna do is probably, you can come down and either find HD 1080p 29.97, or you could even come down and just go to YouTube um, 1080p HD. This is the one that I usually just hit this because I know that it's, my video is 1080p and it's 30 frames per second. So if your video was 720, then you would choose 720. And if your video was uh, 4K, then you'd have to find a 4K option in here. Um, so find whatever um, resolution and image size that you have happening for you. So I choose this one. And then <clears throat> the output name is just your file name. So. Um, this is where you select where on your computer your uh, video is going to export to, where it's going to save to, and what the file name is going to be. So that's how we do that. We're going to hit save. You definitely want to make sure you export video and export audio. Those things should be checked automatically. Down here um, under this video tab, I don't mess with any of these other things over here. So um, th this video tab should be the one that is is open by default anyway. Um, but you don't, you probably don't have to mess with any of these other things. So you're just going to verify that. So you're you're you have a 1080p. Um, preset up here. So your width is going to be 1920 by 1080 and your frame rate is going to be 29.97, which is 30 frames per second. And then I don't usually have to mess with anything up there, but down here under bitrate settings, and I'll be totally honest with you, I don't know how to explain <laughs> what the bitrate settings do, but it has to do with the quality and the size of your video. So the objective would be to have the highest quality that you can while still having a manageable file size. So what I always do here is um, I select VBR to pass, which is going to increase your render time a little bit because um, it's like Premiere Pro is going to actually render your video twice um, just to make sure that it, it, it does the best job that it can, basically. So if you're in a rush, you could do VBR one pass, but I do two pass because usually I'm not in a huge rush <laughs> to get my video exported. 
And then I bring this target bitrate down, which you'll notice. So over here, where was this at? So over here, estimated file size, 1350 megabytes. So that's gonna be a little over one gigabyte for a video that is five minutes long. So what we're gonna do, what I do is I bring mine down actually to, um, I usually have mine at eight. And if you'll notice, that brings it down to 335 megabytes. So it took off like a thousand megabytes um, from my file size. So what that means is the quality is not going to be as great as it possibly could be. And so far with the videos that I've exported, I've been happy with that. If you didn't, if you felt like your videos just weren't, high enough quality you could bump this up to 16 or something um let's see what my file size would be at 16 so 662 megabytes that's going to double it um which is still fine 662 megabytes is not you know it's not huge or unheard of for a five minute video and then you can set your maximum bit rate to whatever seems appropriate so this is what it looks like when i export a video um this would be for my GoPro videos and also for my YouTube videos, like the video that you're watching right now is gonna get exported that way. So up here under preset, you're gonna notice it switched to custom and that's because you um, would have changed the VBR one pass to two pass and changed the bit rates um, and things like that. And so it lets you kind of almost create your own preset and you can save this preset if you want to just by hitting one of these. This one here, you can save your preset. So that's why I have this preset that is VPM export. And then I know that all my settings are gonna be exactly the way that I want them. And I don't have to go through and change everything um, every single time. So you can have as many presets as you want, as many custom presets as you want. So once you have your settings all set, you are going to want to actually export your video. So what I usually do is I hit export, which means that Premiere Pro is going to export my video right here in front of me within Premiere Pro. But if you have Adobe Media Encoder set up and installed and ready to go, you can hit this Q button here and it's going to open up in the Media Encoder program, which means that it's going to render and, um, and export your file kind of in the background so that you can still continue to use Premiere Pro if you would like to, or if the rendering and export process eats up a lot of the power of your machine as it's going through all those things, um, you can edit uh, a couple different videos and add them all to the media encoder by hitting Q when you're ready to export. And then when you're ready to walk away from your computer for a while and not use it, you can just have media encoder go through and export all of them one right after the other. But like I said, I just usually hit export right here within Premiere Pro and then I let my computer do its thing. And when it's done, I find my file on my desktop, make sure that it plays, make sure there wasn't some weird hiccup in the settings or something like that. And then I can upload it to YouTube or Facebook or do whatever I want with it. So that's how I export my videos in Premiere Pro. Like I said, there's a million different options and settings here. So if something isn't working for you, you can change something, change your bit rate or something like that. Um, just play around with it a little bit and let me know how it turns out. So that's it, I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. If you would like to get your hands on all the tutorials that I create for editing GoPro videos with Premiere Pro, then head on over to vidpromom.com slash Premiere, and I'll make sure that you get all of them. And I'll also shoot you an email anytime I have something new for you. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thanks, bye.